Let's check this event. Five days to go. I don't think everything is open already. Then it's color in the wild. Tell me mirror mirror. Okay. Clear weather all around brightens the heart. Terminate. Oh. No, that doesn't matter. Uh, you two over there, excuse me. There's a brand new game here for you to play. Uh, here, yeah, as long as you complete the challenge, you will obtain a of funding for experiments. Funding? Uh, no, sorry, I spoke too quickly. What I mean is, if you finish the game and find out, fill out the survey, then you get amazing rewards. The game is really simple too. <laughs> there aren't many chances to obtain rewards this easily, you know. Uh, this seems a bit suspicious to Paimon. Is this some kind of new scam? Should we report this to the Matra? Oh, oh, don't be like that. There's no need to get so suspicious right off the bat, really. Though I admit that randomly inviting strangers passing by in a place like this might be seen as somewhat unusual. But at least listen to my excuse. Uh, I mean, <laughs> listen to my explanation. Alright, let's hear it. Uh, though the two of you cannot tell, I am. A, we should be able to tell. I am a searcher from the Amurta Darsha of the Academia. My name is Lamia. Lam isn't Lamia one uh, like tiger person stuff? Uh, chimera? Uh, it's actually really obvious since you're wearing Academia clothing. Oh, so that's where you're wrong? If it was... If, what if a con artist merely put on academia robes to fool you into thinking they were a researcher? Of course, I'm most definitely not talking about myself. Come on, I was just reminding you too. I really am from Murtam. If you doubt me, just ask my any matra. I'm definitely at the top uh, of quite a few of their lists. Uh, is that supposed to be a good thing? Uh, anyway, you two. All oh, right, I haven't asked your name is that. Paimon's name is Paimon. I'm Ignus. Uh, in that case, Ignus and Paimon allow me to explain this little challenge to you. This is actually all related to a story I read when I was a child about a boy who turns into a cat and has all kinds of adventures in the land of cats. It's a really cute story, after the protagonist falls in love with a beautiful cat, he turns back into a human. Then the story ends with him as the owner of the gorgeous cat, living out their lives as a master. It's a pretty good ending. They fell in love with the cat, and then it got turned back into a human. No, that's actually a really weird ending. Uh, well, at the very end, the boy finds out the beautiful cat is actually male, so I think uh, the any actually is quite a, has quite a bit of literary value. Uh, sorry, we got a bit of topic. Anyway, the whole point is that much of this story is written from the perspective of an animal, which fascinated me. After becoming a scholar, I decided that would be my research area. By combining the equipment I developed with the mature tech of the Akasha, we can see the world through the eyes of various animals, so you can still mess up with the Akasha. 
Now that sounds more like it, though using the academia's research funds to chase your dreams, isn't that a bit like abusing your position to get what you want? <clears throat> Perhaps it is appropriating public technology for my private pur purposes, and a bit selfish, but this also is quite practical and has a lot of potential. When searching for victims after a disaster, or exploring collapsed ruins, small animals are far more agile than us, and if we could borrow their eyes, then you can infiltrate places you aren't supposed to. Searching for things will be much easier. Now, what do you mean infiltrate places you aren't supposed to? I mean, was clearly talking about uh, really good and noble uses. Yeah, exactly, quite perceptive because humans tend to be cautious around their own kind, but are quite relaxed around animals. Hey, don't actually use it for any weird stuff. A joke, a jest. Each time the tech is used, everything is recorded. If you use it for anything naughty, you will immediately be caught and punished. But still, what do you think? Sounds like some pretty amazing research, doesn't it? It actually does sound quite impressive. I was planning on taking my time, but those fools at Koshawar managed to see the promise in such research. And are planning to achieve similar results with my with tiny machines. Uh. It's blasphemy, I say. Corruption and evil compared to cute little animals who once called machines. Well, you won't be forcing living beings to do what you want. It's less evil than that. Than what you are doing. Right, in the Zempaimon? Well, um, of course, animals are much cuter. I am from the Beep Construct Beep Darshan. Uh, Final has no idea what you're talking about. Anyway, the point is that if I can produce results ASAP, those Kushara adults will certainly beat me to the punch. So, grabbing passerbys out here away from prying eyes is my only option. <laughs> when you think about it, like that, there's nothing suspicious about it at all. Uh, sounds like it's pretty legit after all. Not many chances to obtain rewards this easily. Alright, then count us in. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. Anyway, take this first. It's a tool I invented. I call it the inscribed mirror. The mirror will show you what the animal connected to my device is. Just use the image shown in the inscribed mirror to figure out where the animals with the device attached are. Then catch them to earn your reward. Mm, so if they are running around all over the place, it's fine. They are all trained and will stay in the area. They won't go too far, so don't worry about that. Okay, come on, let's roll out. Okay, so we can, we can only see what the animal is seeing. We can really in a rescue situation, like she said, we wouldn't be able to guide the animal to where we want. After the challenge begins, you must use the inscribed mirror to find and retrieve all the small animals near the wooden plaques. After you use the inscribed mirror, you can see the small animal's point of view and thus locate them. If you can adjust your camera angle to observe your surroundings and improve the accuracy of your search. Data from two more users of the inscribed mirror. If we get more good test data, then the produ product can be released soon. He knows what's the matter. Any questions or news about the experiment or the trial challenge? Since the cache is being used. Oh, you mean why do we still use the inscribed mirror since we already are using a cache technology, right? Considering the difference between animal and human brains, using the Akash has directly has a relatively high risk at this stage. Also, as only the sense of vision is connected, though you may see from the animal's perspective, it's still your own body moving. Considering, consider what will happen if connected to the vision of a bird. Visually, you are flying. And it's hard to control a fear of heights or your instinctual movement. It would definitely cause accidents. And so the mirrors are better for the time being. 
Uh, how are inscribed mirrors used? First, hold the mirror in your hand and then touch to activate it the response. The mirror is showing the animal perspective now. Of course, it has been edited. Many animals see the world very different from us, but as it's, it is made for people to use, we must tweak the image to be more acceptable. Shower researchers wouldn't worry about that. How nice. Yeah, how do you actually add color to an animal that seem black and white? No, no problems. I hope you make through the trial challenge smoothly. No, for the sake of test data, you must complete the trial challenge at all costs. Alright, let me keep the... Uh, here. No, no, no. Describe mirror, a mirror type gadget made by the mortal researcher Lamia. It can be linked to animal's device, which will reflect the animal's point of view in the mirror. This is so advanced for a mirror and stuff, and they don't have something like the Shika slate in Wherever here. Wherever in this world I roam, I carry memories of my <sighs> home. This blade. It is the wind strike. There. Oh, it's there in the map already. I thought he would read. Uh, use the mirror. No, oh, it's a boar. I thought I had to figure out which animal it was. for the next one. Ah, it's all in the same, same area. Okay, this bird. We never get to see one so up close. Next one. Hmm. Another disc bird. I thought it would be different animals each time. gotta be more all right oh, each has a name uh, Morton has enjoyed hanging out in high places ever since he returned from roaming around a video forest 
news always sneaking bites from the plate uh, i wish i'd stay further away from people wilbur seems to be really interested in running water if the amount of water it's it's been staring at waterfalls is an indication Ah, they all Ash, Desert Fox. Uh, it likes the sound of its own footsteps. It will deliberately run across the floor to hear them. The lab has received many complaints from downstairs because of it. Come on, how heavy is a Desert Fox? Uh, Arca, Sacred Ibis. Uh, caution is a positive trait, sure, but couldn't you at least remember the hand that feeds you, Arca? Samir, a treacherous cunning thing that's always eyeing up the small birds in the lab. I'll need to keep an eye on this one. Okay, let's go to this challenge. Ah, around there. memories of my home this blade it is the last link I have to the land of my birth ah search carefully oh come on I wanted to see myself here That's the closest I can get to it. Hmm. Cool. I didn't know they made noises. They always fly when you get close. Can we hear those noises naturally? Getting near them. Yeah. Ah, this is the one that likes its footsteps. Well, the other one wasn't really looking at birds. <laughs> yeah, those we can see somewhat better at some other times. There were those with cave and the snow ones we could take 
that we could take food to. No. Orby, a crimson finch. Close to humans and often rides on everyone's shoulders. Uh, it's been trained so it won't get carried off by just anyone, I think. Scruba. Uh, a neat freak. It will even knock over water bases to take a bath. Uh, if I had to guess, it should be near a lake somewhere. Long beak, azure crane. A uh, rather prideful creature, but I'd say that it prefers literally looking down on people more than really likes high spots. Oh. Oh. I thought it would be all around Sumeru. Okay, this researcher got quite some funding. They're always complaining about lack of funding. Time to go. Time to go. Okay, that makes things easier. noises wow I never pay attention to those they're well made ah <laughs> he likes to stay on shoulders This one almost looks like a Pokemon. This scenery is wonderful. Surely. Ah, the fox's differences. Ah, and the other one. Okay, it's just the color really that changes. Because the ibis changes the shape. Ah, and the boar. Uh, well, this is the snow boar, so maybe. I don't know if it's a bit different, the shape from a regular one. Hey, what's up? Renarch. A uh, smart girl who sometimes plays tricks on the people in the lab. Gotta keep an eye out on this one. Crystal, friends with Ash. If Ash. Uh, he often holds races in the room. It seems to be winning more these days, uh, so it's been quite pleased with itself. And Gustav. Uh, it has a very high st it has very high standards when it comes to food, always grunting before eating. It also refuses to drink water from the lab. Mm. 
Oh, I, I don't need help with the, the graphics. I'm happy the way they are. And I, I really can't afford anything, really. You guys will get in the way. Come at me! Hey! So long, Tasha. Replace my hammer. seem to get that far There. Wind strike. Time to go. Those boars look angrier than the others. Uh, split trees. This is the one that was next to the surge. Quite please itself. Yeah, those really don't indicate what which one is which, but if you gotta keep an eye on this one and was looking at the surge, this one may be a bit dangerous. But Opecker, the side of its spread it's spreading its wings in flight is beautiful, but it always ends up in hard to find places. Is this what they call being an introvert? Chirpy, it's so small and cute. <laughs> it's a little hard to spot it when it huddles into a ball, but it, what matters is that it's cute. Night call, he enjoys playing with a ball while shrieking happily in the dead of night. It's lively, but it's also kind of noisy. Hmm, would this one be making some noise then? Clear weather all around brightens the heart. Oh. Oh, hang on, I didn't really pay attention. Oh, 
Yeah. To just go up. Hmm. Is that supposed to be like the ball he was playing with? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't break. This last one should be cuddling to a ball. said it was hard to see I thought it would be maybe in tall grass or something okay let's one wow this vein is quite quick Agatha likes fruit and often snatches fruit from the other animals to be honest it might be better to just let it eat its fill before coming back Call a scarlet big duck. Oh, I don't think I've captured any ducks yet for my serenity pot. Uh, very clingy and likes to swim. It's it's the straightforward type, uh, so best to be careful should it hop up onto your knees. Mm, Chesterton. It looks like it's staring blankly a lot of time, but it's actually lost in thought. I sure hope it's not thinking of any dangerous ones. Time to go. <laughs> Time to go. Oh, I had some age to climb on the last one. Ah, here. Come on. Find them out of order. Okay, the duck is the water, obviously. Uh, I can I can check the next one, right? No, it's the ducks too. Okay, so the ducks right over there. Um. Where would the other screw be? Yeah, yeah, I know about the duck. Okay, I think I covered most of the ground here. 
I think it hasn't Time spawned. To go. Uh, what happens if I try to choke? Uh, it's like... Uh, we trace. But I flew over here. I don't think it was this place. And that was it. And instructions again. Just that. Really quick. Time to go. And the signs. Time to go. Vanish. Yeah, the sun was here, was it? Huh. And we can go again. I wanted to check if the Animals change place, but if you can go again, then they don't. Anything for returning them all? No, as usual. Was it a, it a lot of rewards? Well, pretty much gems. Okay, pretty much the is good. Okay, just that. Uh, how many days? Six days. Okay, I still got some time before dumping a lot of pretty much gems here. No, oh, I got one. Yeah. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. No, I'm gonna. There are leaves around. Tomorrow, I'll continue this one. I think I can clear the map in one go. So yeah, tomorrow I'll continue that, and some other day I'll go to Kaya's hangout. Uh, yeah, today I'm out.